Hi there. Yet more wet and windy weather to come over the next 24 hours or so as Storm Jocelyn moves in, the winds increasing overnight. Amber warning for the north and the west of Scotland because Storm Jocelyn comes so soon after Storm Isha. And so although the centre of Storm Jocelyn moves further from northwest Scotland compared with Isha, and although the isobars aren't quite as tightly packed together, so the winds are going to be a notch down compared with Isha, this storm some coming so soon after Isha and hampering recovery and repair efforts, of course, presents a greater concern than if it occurred in isolation during the winter. The rain is also a key concern. This is the picture at 1 p.m. Very soggy across much of the UK, but the heaviest rain affecting western hills of Scotland, northwest England and Wales. Rain warnings in effect because 50 mils or so could cause some localised flooding over some of these western hills. Not a huge amount of rain by the end of the afternoon for southern and eastern parts. Some patchy rain and drizzle here and there. And showers replacing the more persistent wet weather as we end the afternoon for western Scotland and Northern Ireland. Some heavy downpours here. And it's turning increasingly blustery, but the winds are coming from the southwest. So it is technically mild, 12 to 14 Celsius, although I suspect not feeling particularly pleasant in all that wind and rain. And here's the wind gust graphic. As we end the afternoon, 50 mile per hour or so around some exposed northern and western coasts. But the swathe of strongest winds by this stage to the south of Jocelyn is starting to arrive. And for the northern two thirds of the UK, generally 50, perhaps 60 mile per hour wind gusts, a touch more around exposed Irish sea coasts. But it really it's the north of Northern Ireland, western Scotland, by midnight where we're going to see a swathe of 60 to 70 mile per hour wind gusts that moves into central Scotland and then by the end of the night the far north of Scotland so the north and west of Scotland at risk of seeing 80 mile per hour wind gusts as I mentioned not a huge storm not as severe as storm Isha but coming so soon after that previous storm of course it is very concerning now by the start of Wednesday, it's staying blustery, but the strongest of the winds are moving through. So a yellow warning for the northern two thirds of the UK. It's not as big a warning compared with Isha, but nevertheless, an amber there for the north and west of Scotland shows those areas at greatest risk of impacts uh, from Storm Jocelyn. For the rest of Tuesday night then, the strongest winds picking up as we go into the evening. Blustery showers in Scotland, Northern Ireland, Northern England. One or two showers further south as well, but the main band of rain moves through. Clear spells developing in many places, although with the uh, wind staying strong through the night, it's not going to be a chilly night. Many places will stay in the high single figures, perhaps even double figures towards the far southwest. Those showers across Scotland merging to longer spells of rain at times as well as the wind pushes them through. But by the start of uh, Wednesday, actually plenty of dry weather around, some brightness as well, although it will stay blustery. And into the afternoon, we keep some of that sunshine through the Midlands, eastern England, eastern Scotland. The showers becoming fewer and less frequent across Scotland and Northern Ireland, although there's still plenty of them about. And then some showery rain appearing into Wales by the end of the afternoon and some more persistent damp weather in the far southwest. So a fine day to come for central and eastern parts of England after the initial windy start, 11 to 12 Celsius here, but it stays blustery further north with those frequent showers moving in throughout the day. Then into the evening, the persistent damp weather towards the southwest starts to push into southern counties of England, perhaps reaching South Wales at times as well. The showers in the north fade, clear skies here, and a bit of a chill to start off Thursday, but further damp and gloomy weather on the way with the breeze picking up once again. Full details on that will be uh, talked about in the deep dive, which will be on our YouTube channel later on Tuesday. Don't miss that. And of course, I recommend you subscribe to so you catch more videos like this one. Bye-bye.